At JCPS, we want our kids thinking like scientists, even if that's not the career path they choose. Scientists are investigators and problem solvers, real critical thinkers. Providing pertinent instruction to our scientists is no simple task, but an amazing partnership has eased the burden. Ten years ago, the GE Foundation partnered with JCPS to improve science and math instruction. Now, our teachers are on the cutting edge of education for the new national standards. What were some of the big conclusions? Tim Truitt is teaching a room full of teachers on the importance of math intervention. We took the problem apart and introduced it in a way that really began to introduce close reading strategies. It was different ways to let students get into the problem. The JCPS math specialist is a presenter for educators from around the country at the GE Foundation Developing Futures Conference in Orlando. Participants hang on every word to gain knowledge from a district that was the first to adopt the Common Core math standards. I think the fact that you were ahead of us blazing the trail and meeting some of the challenges first really made it easier for the following Developing Future Districts to do their work. It's enabled many people within the district um, to gain voices in national ways. A team of JCPS staff, including Superintendent Donna Hargens, attends the conference each year to stay on top of instructional shifts and develop new plans to help our kids achieve in the classroom. It's made possible by the Developing Futures Grant, a 10-year, $35 million pledge that has driven curriculum and leadership in the district. Here, JCPS educators interact with national experts in education, as well as other grant districts, developing a national professional learning community of sorts, also known as a PLC. In education, it, it, you're isolated usually, and that, you know, GE helped bring about these, these districts that could work together and collaborate, and they're not in this alone, and, it's, and you know, they can support each other. So we would take a look at what was happening in education around the country, what was happening with education around the globe, and what were some of the core topics that we needed to bring here. Uh, for attendees to really learn, do a deep dive, learn from one another, work with one another, and then also spend time in their district roles and their capacity there. And I think it's powerful when you know you have a PLC that's in an individual school, but that PLC is connected to a network that spreads across the country. And it's the GE Foundation's powerful network that has connected JCPS to some of the giants in education. Not long ago, David Lieben, top researcher of the Common Core, visited teachers across the district. It was made possible through the grant and student achievement partners, who also provided standards immersion workshops for instructional leaders. The standards immersions institutes that I was able to go to was completely invaluable in terms of I can't put a cost on, on, on how important they were. For us, it's just so important to be connected to educators who are on the ground, not only in schools, but also connected to the districts and, and all the stakeholders in the district. And JCPS has just been invaluable in being a voice and a, a strong advisor through those conversations. To have the support of the GE Foundation and to be able to have you know people whose job it is to help with this kind of implementation is really is really great and and has meant a lot to JCPS being at the forefront of this work. The GE review said we're a moving and improving district. That at the same time as the educators conference more than 250 business leaders from across the country take part in their own conference. Dr. Hargan sat on a panel and shared examples of JCPS's collaborative partnerships which are helping make students college and career ready. These informational exchanges are critical to ensuring our kids are ready for the 21st century global marketplace. It's one of the things that we provide, I think as a business, we can provide as a service to education in terms to define what are the skills that are going to be needed for when these kids graduate from high school or they go on to college, what are the things that we're looking for as employers. Um, DuPont, we talk about the global collaboratory and it's going to take a lot of us to, to solve the world, pro world problems. And so without um, partners in, uh, like GE and the other companies that they've, invo they've invited to this conference, we're, we're not going to solve this issue. When they go home after the conference, it's not like, hey, I was at this great meeting. Instead, there's a plan, there's goals that are established, and they actually start to work on what can we do to make education stronger in our community. And the same can be said for Truett. He returns with a renewed commitment to our students, knowing he has a new arsenal of best practices, an army of educators behind him, as well as a community partner supporting his efforts. For their children in the classroom, we are able to think about and provide instruction 
and think about and look at resources that are at the forefront across the country.